Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D CAD model in Autodesk Inventor software and learn the Autodesk Inventor commands. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and we will start from the top plane. So we'll select here exit plane, rotate the view. Now here take the circle command from the center point make a circle of diameter 110 mm ok finish sketch take extrude take extrude of 3 mm and press ok now select this face go to create sketch rotate take circle command from the center point make one circle of diameter 30 ok and another circle here of diameter 65 okay and one circle here of diameter 100 mm now scale you can just select this make it construction so we'll use these two circles here finish sketch take extrude select the profile between these two flip the direction to cut okay so this will be also 3 mm and press ok ok now select this face go to create sketch rotate the view take circle command from the center point make one circle of diameter 65 from same center make another diameter of 70 mm finish sketch take extrude this time select the middle profile ok flip the direction and we will take a distance of 2 mm ok and press ok now select this face again go to create sketch rotate here take the line command and here we will make a center line ok we will start from here select here and select this end now go to the offset command select offset select this profile take here offset of 4 mm Similarly, select this profile again, take offset of 4 mm and escape. Now here, go to the arc command, take 3 point arc, select this point and select this point and make a center point. Ok. Place here, similarly select here, select here, escape. Again go to 3 point arc, select here and select this end and select here now here go to equal constraint select this arc select here ok similarly select the arc select the circle and escape ok now here you can see it is still moving ok go to coincident select this point select this curve so let's select this point, select the curve. Now this is constraint. Now escape. Here also we will check. It is in a moving form. Go to coincident, select this point, select this curve, select this point and select the curve. Now escape. Now select this profile, the yellow profile and make it a construction geometry. Ok. Select again, make it construction. Ok, only this profile will be left here. Select this middle also, make it construction and this also make it construction. Finish sketch, take here extrude, flip the direction, take here thickness of 3 mm and we will click on join. So this will be a joining profile and press ok. Go to home. Now I want a pattern of this, go to circular pattern. Select extrude 4, go to rotation axis, select here, we will take here a count of 6 and press OK. OK. Now the base is ready. Now we are going to make the upper profile. Select this face, go to create sketch, take circle command from the center point, mix circle of diameter 16. Now finish sketch, take extrude. Take here extrude of 50 mm and OK. Now select this face again, go to create sketch, 
take circle command from this center point make another circle of diameter 25 mm go to 3d model take extrude again this time we will take extrude of 5 mm and press ok ok now here we are going to make the rip profiles so we will select here origin and select the yz plane ok go to top you can see this will lie at middle go to home create sketch here take the line command make a line here I will change the view go to view visual style change it to wireframe and place it here make one triangle profile till the middle ok from here we will guide and close escape now here go to sketch dimension from top this will be at a distance of 1 mm ok and from this edge also this will be 1 mm so go to project geometry project this corner escape go to dimension select here now I am unable to select this point here so I will change view to home and here I will find a point and I will take a distance of 1 mm go to right view ok now this is constraint <coughs> I have taken it inside so to make it a proper matching finish sketch and here go to extrude select this profile take here symmetric and take a distance of 3mm go to view visual style change it to shaded edges so this will be a joining profile and press ok ok now select this face, go to create sketch, here select the arc command, take 3 point arc, select the starting point and here we will select this starting point, ok and here we will select this end point, the green point we will select and make the arc, go to dimension, define it radius of 50 mm go to line command and make one line here ok now here I will make a outer profile so this will be a straight line ok and will join here escape select this line make it vertical now this will be the final profile now go to 3d model take extrude so I'll select here and select here. I'll take symmetric and take a cut profile. Okay. So this will generate a cut profile. So you can select all. So it will cut the complete profile here and press OK. Okay. So a curve profile is being created here. Now go to 3D model. Take circular pattern. Select extrude 7 and 8. Go to rotation axis and select this here also count will be 6 and press ok now we will work on this select this face go to create sketch take point command place one point here finish sketch take whole command take here counter board hole type will be simple hole and this will be a through hole C board dia here will be of 12 mm and depth of C bore will be 3 mm and the bottom dia here will be of 8 mm press ok now select this edge take here fillet take a fillet radius of 0 0.5 and this also 0 0.5 and ok now we are complete I will give the appearance this will be aluminium dark so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct this type of complex models in Autodesk in Inter software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do it like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.